But this is the start of the WMDR 4700. And we'll configure the internet ourselves. Yeah, that's fine. So that should be good to go. So, how the hell is it? There it is here. Oh, there we go. Test. Ah, and this is what it looks like. It says there's a new firmware update available. We'll worry about that shortly. Internet state's good. That's quite good. Hand it no. Um, wireless, that's the SSID for searching. And attached devices. Well, there's three just now. There's this and two laptops. Guest network not available. Um, Ready share. Well, there's no USB drive or. Um, hard drive plugged in yet so I will be doing that but not just now and parental controls I don't really worry about that advanced um, there's your setup storage not done yet security not done yet administration nothing so let's have a wee look through all of this setup wizard don't want to do that because I've just done that so let's go back to basic so home it showed me the basic uh, home screen there which is there we go internet there's our settings wireless here's our settings for wireless there's your SSID um, that's for the 2.4 gigahertz band uh, there's the 5 gigahertz band there I'll probably change that shortly and the passwords as well fancy zoo 395 yeah I'll definitely change that um, dead easy to change just change that and apply. Attached devices. Well, uh, with the WNDR3700, it had a problem remembering all the devices it was attached. So in this case, yep, here we can see garage, my wife, and this computer here. So that's fine. Um, nothing yet. Parental controls. This looks quite good though. This is new. Um, not really bored about that though, but that's something if you want to look at, I'm sure you can look at that yourself. Uh, how the hell do we get back? That looks quite good though, I'm impressed with that. But turned out that when I opened parental controls, it opened another screen. So because I'm on full screen, that's why I couldn't go back. Right, ready share. This is your storage. Um, basic will be, well, we'll go into that later. But you've got printer, vault, and a cloud, which is uh, pretty good. I should be able to set this up, no problem, because I've already used that on my other one. So, uh, guest network, I'm not really overly concerned about that. That's if you get guests around that limits our speed and stuff like that. So, um, let's go into advanced. Right, here's our router status, router information, wireless status. Um, I take it I can just click, oh yeah, yeah, I can, and just go straight to that. Which is pretty good. Internet setup, we've done that. Yeah, we've done all that, but this is advanced side it now. So advanced home is that, rather than this which was a very basic look which is good if that's what you want right enough but anyway there's a, the basic home now here's the internet basic and internet advanced it's pretty much the same thing <laughs> right um, set up internet set up done that done that LAN set up so I normally have a DMZ enabled for this computer so we will have a quick look at if I can find attached devices again and get the IP addresses associated with this computer which is, which is the same as it used to be so it's 0 0.12 so let's go back into that if I can remember how to do it um, setup 1 
DMZ file. So every everything that comes in basically um, for for this computer doesn't go through the firewall. So we'll apply that. That was quick. Uh, happy with that. Right, LAN setup. So this is IP range. Um, on the WNDR, oh no, wait a minute. Might be able to see it as well. Yep. I was just going to say on the WNDR 3700, it had help down the right hand side. But now we've got it at the bottom here, which is uh, it's always handy. You can hide that. That's quite good. Uh, you can also search a help as well. So let's search. Ugh, no bother. Right, so anyway, the DHCP server, that's okay for other things. Um, but if I'm using the DMZ, it's no good for this. So I'm keeping it that, and I'm also assign a static IP route for this computer as well. So the this is the IP address here. This is the IP address of the router. So if I want to tell other things on the like storage devices on the the network to store on the router as in an FTP server, that is the IP address I would use. We'll get to that later because I will be using that. This is my first look as well, so I mean I'm learning here as well. Um, right, I'm not really overly bothered about that. Don't really need the five gig as well, so what I'll do is I'll switch that off. Right, that took absolutely ages. It took the best part of a minute, so I won't be doing that again just now. Right, ready right here. I have nothing plugged in, but I will be shortly. Um, I will come back to this. I'll probably do another video on this because this video I don't want to get it too long, especially if you're not using that. Uh, yeah, I will come back to this because it can get quite uh, in depth. Security. Not really bothered about that just now, but you can do it again with this WNDR3700. You can block IP addresses after certain times. So if I was to um, use a static route here, I mean this is a WN, this is just DHCP server now, so it just automatically assigns an IP address to a certain uh, like computer or laptop when it logs in, but I can add static IP addresses by doing address reservation. Now I'm going to do it for this computer here, which was uh, IP 12. So it's oh no, there it is. It's already done. Address reservation. It's already done because I signed the DMZ. I do have other things again that I'm going to be looking at, like say. Um, uh, hard drives, storage devices, FTP server uh, and I've got three cameras on it as well so we will get to that in a wee while but so far so good anyway hopefully this helps there's an advanced setup down here as well um, traffic meter, yeah sorry here we go this is quite cool again this is very similar to the WNDR3700 um, it's got all the same stuff. I've not really noticed something that stands out that's different so far. Um, but we will get to that. It's just a different interface so far anyway. Uh, let's get this firmware update now. You can see here uh, it's just a small update so it's, we might have some kind of extra information. or extra menu. You never know, we'll see. It's doing it fairly quick anyway. Can't be that big a download. Currently I'm on about 11 meg download speed, actual download speed, so I mean, that's only taken 15 seconds, 10-15 seconds, so it couldn't have been that big. It'll take three minutes for the firmware upgrade. Right, let's just see. Right, that's it done its update, and it's now at firmware version 10052, so um, didn't take long maybe, 2 or 3 minutes, no big deal. Anyway, I'm going to come back to this because I'm going to go back to the other router tonight, 
until such times as I can get daylight to set everything up. <laughs>